Hey bosses, it's Nina. So I need to create a form for a project that I'm working on. And I thought I'd show you how to create a form for free using Airtable. Um, one thing is I'm not gonna go over the basics of what Airtable is. It's just magic on the internet. So um, basically, um, if you wanna know more about Airtable in general, go ahead and click the link in the description. I have an overview of um, Airtable. This specifically is going to be geared towards how to create a form. Also, I'll be going over strategy and automations and things like that in my learned it online, um, online academy or on, excuse me, online school. So head over there if you want more classes. All right, let's jump in. So if I, I'm going to, I'm in a table, right? It's called partnerships. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus here to create a new table. This is going to be called Cash is content. And this is my blog, actually. Let me just make sure. And actually, the way I work, sorry, I would probably do blog and then that. So if I do multiple items like this, there you go. Organization, y'all. So I want the person's name, right? So this is already in here. This is a unique field, so um, uh, without going into database stuff, you just need some way to identify this record. Each of these are records. So first I'm gonna go ahead and add all the fields I need. The next thing I need is their title. Okay, and this is just gonna be single text. Notes is already there, so I'm just gonna rename this to how do you help your clients? I hope this makes sense to people because it's just, if I say, what do you do? People can write anything. So, and this is gonna be the company name, right? I'm just right clicking to add each of these. So each of the A's means it's single line. This A means it is, and actually let me zoom in. This might be easier. Aha. This means it's multiple lines, okay? So the attachment is going to be a photo. I could have added a, touch, a new field, but these are already here, so I'm just renaming. Um, what else did I want? And then their website. And then that's it. The website is a URL, so I'm gonna choose URL. Oh, and then actually, um, and then link to video. All right. And this is gonna be a URL. Now I am gonna add another field after I finish this, but for now I just wanna show you how to create this form. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is create another view. On the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna go ahead and create a form view. And it's working. Now, some of these things you have to have the upgraded version to add all of these. I don't need these, I'll be upgrading soon, but not right now. Um, and so basically, these are all the fields that I want from them. I want to move attachment down, so I'm just going to drag it. And then website, and then I'll add another field here. If I didn't want something, how do I explain this? So some of your, some of your grids, like here, I could have had like 15 fields. Maybe I want to put all kinds of information, which I probably will, about this person. But... I only want them to see like three or four fields on the form. I can move over like website. Maybe I already have their website. I don't need them to fill it over, fill it out or their title. But um, let me put this back before I forget. There you go. Um, so basically I you can drag and drop any of the fields and you can, oh, and I'm sorry, that's upgraded. You can edit whether this says submit or whatever, but that's fine. We don't need it, super free, super easy. You could preview here so you can see what the form looks like. Right? Nice, nice, right? And I can't remember if I can, yeah, I can change the title. So, cash is, no, sorry. Content is cash. Blog. Sub, sub, form. Okay. It's a little long. And then I can add a description, which I will be adding a description there. Um, the other thing in that, and one other thing that I wanna bring up is that, oh, how do you share it? 
So you're actually, um, let me just, hash is, I just wanted to check the name and then we'll change it up here. Um, you're actually going to share it at the top right here. Okay, so you can invite collaborators at the top and give them um, a link and specific ad access. Um, what I really wanna do is create a shared link to this view. So all the way at the bottom, they changed this recently and so I have to find it, but shared view links. Um, so if I click on this, it's only giving them ability to see what fields I show. So for instance, for instance in the form, if I remove fields, things like that, they won't see those additional fields. And so if you wanna share it, you can just click on this and right click. There's the preview, or you can embed it, which I've done um, a couple of times. I'll actually show you one. I've embedded a form on my learnedit.online. Here's where people can submit requests for um, lessons. Now I do learn, know that it takes a little bit for it to pop up like it did this time. And so this is what the form looks like when it's embedded somewhere. All right, so that's about it. So um, if you have any other questions or you want a strategy on how to use Airtable to automate your business, go ahead and head over to learnedit.online. I will be releasing a course there um, on how to use Airtable. This is an amazing tool. If you have any other questions, make sure and leave the comments below. I'll leave a um, video that you can click here um, that takes you to my original um, tutorial on Airtable. All right, ciao.